Good morning students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. We are learning the pavement material and its characterization wherein we are talking on the road aggregates. Our today's topic of discussion that is the physical property of the road aggregates. So let's discuss on the physical properties of the road aggregates. So as a physical property of road aggregates, we have to discuss on the size, shape, surface texture, specific gravity, the bulk density, water absorption, soundness, aggregate crushing values, impact values, abrasion value, the fineness modulus of aggregate and the flackiness and elongation index of the road aggregates. So let's start the discussion with the first property that is the size. The size of coarse aggregate that depends on the use so where the concrete has to be applied for the mass concreting the works without complicated reinforcement the larger aggregates of 80 millimeter 40 millimeter and the 20 millimeter size are generally in use for the ordinary construction that is besides the pavement construction the 20 mm size is the maximum size that we generally used so this is only and only when you are using the aggregates for the concreting or the bituminous work that is the specifically for the road aggregate. Well, in the concrete mixed design, the aggregate gradation is done and the proportion of each size is determined by the using grading curve or the charts or some other methods. So this is how the size of aggregate matters and this is what the size we are prefer for the construction that is the 80 mm 40 mm and at least the 20 mm size as we are using this aggregates for the pavement construction if you are using the aggregates for the residential work or some other works the maximum size that is the 20 mm well talking about the next property that is the shape the shape of aggregate is an important characteristic as it affects the workability of concrete. It also affects the strength. In general, the angular aggregates is preferable than the rounded and the smooth aggregates because the angular aggregates shows the better interlocking effect which gives the superior concrete quality and the total surface area of the rough angular aggregate is more than the smooth or the rounded aggregates. Hence, the bond formation in the angular aggregate is enhanced giving the greater bond strength to the particular mixture. So, this was how the shape affect. The next property that is the surface texture. The surface of aggregate may be smooth, it may be polished, it may be rough or the dull. Rough surface provides more area for the bonding with cement paste and also gives the more strength. But where the workability is required, rough textured aggregate will be less workable and the harsh. The rounded aggregate with a smooth surface will require less cement paste and hence increase the yield of aggregate. Keeping all these points in mind, we can say that the overall rough textured aggregates is to be preferred more than other aggregates specifically for the road construction. But according to the need, Sometimes smooth textured aggregate can be also used for the unimportant works. The next property that is the specific gravity. Well, the specific gravity of aggregate is the ratio of its density to the density of water. This is used for concrete mixed design and if not specified, the specific gravity is taken as 2.7 because 
the general specific gravity of majority aggregates are in between 2.6 and 2.8 value. So, on an average, we can consider the specific gravity as the 2.7. Okay. Now, if we talk about the bulk density, the bulk density refers to the density of aggregate that considered along with the volume of voids or the empty spaces between the particles. The density of sand that is the fine aggregate falls between 17 to 25 kN per meter cube. Well, if you talk about the water absorption property, the water absorption of concrete aggregate is measured by the percentage increase in the weight of an oven dry sample after immersing that sample into the water for the 24 hours. But this does not give the true picture or the true value and many times the absorption for a period that is equal to the final setting time of cement that has to be measured. It gives a more realistic result of water absorption that will decrease the water contained in the concrete and the concrete that will require the higher water cement ratio. The water absorption will depend upon the porosity of aggregates and more water absorption will affect both the workability and the durability of the concrete. The next property that is the soundness. The soundness refers to the resistance that offered by the aggregate to any type of volume changes. The volume change may be because of the temperature variation. It may be in the alternating wetting and the dry in the potable water. The potable water that means the water that comes from the surface and the ground sources and it is prepared to the level that it meets the state and federal standard for the consumption. So, this is generally called as the drinking water. Or it may be in the alternate wetting and drying in the seawater also. The aggregate which are porous are unsound and those are more liable to attack by the chemicals. Also, these aggregates will get broken if subjected to the alternate cold and the heat. So, the variation in the weather that also affect the property of the aggregates. The soundness is measured by immersing the aggregate in either the sodium or the magnesium sulfate. And oven drying it under the specified condition. The average loss of water after such 10 cycles of drying the aggregate should not exceed 12 percentage if it tasted with the sodium sulfate. And if it is tasted with the magnesium sulfate, the drying aggregate should not exceed 18 percentage. Okay. Now, if we talk about the aggregate crushing value, the aggregate crushing value provides a relative measure of resistance to crushing under the gradually applied crushing load. To find out the crushing value, the taste sample is weighted and it should be placed in the taste cylinder in different different layers. And after that, it get tempered. The specimen is subjected to a compressive load of generally 40 tons and gradually applied as a rate of 4 tons per minute. Okay. Now, then such aggregates are sieved through the 2.36 mm sieve and after that, it should be go for the weighing. So, the weight of passing material that is considered as the W2 and the original weight that is the W1. So, the ratio of W2 and W1 will give you the value of crushing and that 
is generally in the percentage. So, a value less than 10 signifies an exceptionally strong aggregate if it is above 35 percentage. Okay. Otherwise, it get as the weak aggregates. Now, if we talk about the aggregate impact value, the aim of aggregate impact test is to determine the relative measure of the resistance of aggregate. Okay. That is because of the sudden load or the sudden shock or the impact on the aggregate structure. Okay. The property of material to resist the impact value or the resist to the impact action that is known as the toughness so basically this impact value will give you the toughness property of the aggregate due to movement of vehicles on the road the aggregate is subjected to the impact resulting in the breaking down into some smaller pieces also the aggregate should therefore have the sufficient toughness that to resist their disintegration due to the impact load aggregate to be used for wearing course the impact value should not exceed the 30 percentage for the bituminous micadam the maximum permissible value that is also 35 percentage and for the water bound micadam road or the water bound micadam base course the maximum permissible value of impact that is 40 percent now if we talk about the aggregate abrasion value the abrasion value gives the hardness property of aggregate and to decide whether they are suitable for the different pavement construction works or not okay Los Angeles abrasion taste is generally preferred for carrying out the hardness property of the aggregate and it has been standardized in India as per the IS 2386 part 4. The particles of Los Angeles abrasion test is to define is to find the percentage wear due to the relative rubbing action between the aggregate and the steel balls that are used as the abrasive charge a maximum value of abrasion the maximum value of 40 percent is allowed for wbm base course as per the indian condition and for the bituminous concrete a maximum value of abrasion is considered as a 35 percentage now if we talk about the finest modulus the finest modulus gives an idea of the mean size of particles that present in the entire body of the aggregate it is measures of coarseness or the fineness of the aggregate the smaller the fineness modulus value the finer is the material okay and if the value of fineness modulus is higher the material is said to be a coarse aggregate the fineness modulus can be regarded as weighted average size of a sieve on which the material is retained and the sieves that being counted from the finest the finest modulus of fine aggregate that varies from 2 to 3.5 for the coarse aggregate it, it is between 5.5 to 8 and for all in aggregates that are on an average that not fine as well as not the coarse aggregate the finest modulus is 3.5 to 6.5 now at last we have the flatness and elongation index property as a road aggregate of the road aggregate so talking about the first one that is the flatness index the property by weight of aggregate whose smallest dimension or the thickness is less than 0.6 times their mean dimension that is generally known as the flatness index the test is not applicable to the aggregate sizes that is smaller than the 0.3 millimeter such particles easily break under the loads 
therefore their use in the pavement construction particularly for the surface cores must be avoided the flakiness index for the aggregates that to be used in the road construction should be less than 50 and in no any cases it should exceed 25 value okay so if we talk about the elongation index this particular term is used to indicate the percentage by weight of particles whose greatest dimension or the length is greater than 1 and 1 1.8 times to their mean dimension this taste is not applicable to aggregate sizes smaller than 6.3 millimeter the elongated particles are likely to break under the smaller loads in the construction of pavement the aggregates having the elongation index value greater than 10 to 15 are generally avoided for the road construction okay so this was all about the physical property of the road aggregates okay i hope students you understand this thoroughly thank you so much for your kind attention here i am concluding my today's lecture thank you so much